and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Sultai Parlay. That's right, we got some Parlay going on today. With this being, with there only being one more Thursday before rotation, which is going to be a week from tomorrow, I wanted to do some extra Throwback Thursday deck. So we're going Throwback Thursday, Wednesday edition today. If you don't know about Throwback Thursday streams, this is where I take rares and mythics that are rotating out that never really saw standard play and build around them before they rotate. So we get to play a league with them. So this one is a Boneyard Parlay deck. That's why we're calling this Sultai Parlay. And looks like Hawkeye really likes this deck here. All right, so Boneyard Parlay, seven mana sorcery. Exile up to five target creature cards from graveyards. So it doesn't necessarily have to just be yours. You can choose, you know, it can be any number of graveyards there. So you can take creatures from your graveyard and your opponent's graveyard. All right, you get five creatures. And then the opponent separates those creatures into two piles. So they, they take the, so there's five of them. They take the five and they split them up, you know, two and three or one and four or, or however, you know, however they want to split them up. They put them into two piles. And then we get to choose which pile goes onto the battlefield. And then the rest just go back in the graveyard. So, um, you know, we get the choice there. So, of course, we're going to want some creatures in the graveyard, and we're going to want some pretty good, impactful creatures in the graveyard as well. All right, so how are we going to get creatures in graveyard? Well, we're going to we're gonna do a little exploring. Merfolk Branch Walkers, Jade Light Rangers, those can uh, dump some creatures in the graveyard. I got this Tamiyo here that can fill up the graveyard, but our main way, of course, is Cavalier of Thorns, because this card is just incredible, and it can mill us pretty good. All right, so now that we've got creatures in our graveyards, we need to have some impactful ones. And we're going Agent of Treachery, of course. Uh, Muldrotha also, so I can, if Muldrotha's in the graveyard, I can Boneyard Parlay and have, get, you know, Muldrotha with like five others. And I can, you know, we get to choose. We can choose the Muldrotha pile, and then we can start casting all the other stuff from our graveyard. And then, of course, we have uh, Yurok to go with Agent of Treachery, some Chupacabras. We can do some cool stuff here. I wanted to fit a second Tamiyo. I only, only, uh, I'm only playing one. I should probably just be playing one parlay, two Tamiyo. But I wanted, you know, like if we're building around Boneyard Parlay, I didn't want to just play one, right? So um, we're going with two of them. Uh, also playing a couple of Blood for Bones, because if we do mill over some of these really cool cards, we can sacrifice like our Explore Creatures or Leaf Kin Druid or whatever and put them back into play also. Blood for Bones is just a pretty cool card. So that's what our deck's all about. Um, we got Masker Girls for the decks that are going wide over in the sideboard. Um, got a bunch of spells interaction in our sideboard, but some more creature removal as well. And I, I threw the second Tamiyo in the sideboard since I couldn't fit, fit it in the main deck. Okay, so here we go. Let's play a league with Boneyard Parlay. Hopefully we get to just cast it. I want, I want to see if it has a cool animation. So let's go play a league. All right, we're gonna see if we can get to five wins. Uh, Sultai Parlay. Here we go. <laughs> no, yeah, yep, it's Wednesday. We're doing Wednesday edition of Throwback Thursday. We, we're playing a Golden Guardian deck up next, and then Journey to Eternity at the end of the day, and we're going with some Jeskai Hero. Uh, we got a Jeskai Hero donation deck to play up third. I put lands in the deck, right? Hmm, maybe not. It's possible there's no lands in the deck. I know I have 18 green sources. Yeah, I have 18 green sources. So there they are. I was gonna say, so they should show up here eventually. Just gotta keep mulliganing. Oh no! Yay! <laughs> I was pretty worried there that they were gonna kill the land war elf. Ugh! If any lands? If I would have just played Risen Reef, we would have drawn Risen Reef. I guess I could have just done that. 
Aw, that's a, that's a cute little puppy. <laughs> yeah, this is a really bad opener. Finally. <laughs> no lands anywhere. Well, at least we're, we're doing pretty good at, at getting a lot of creatures in the graveyard. If we get to cast Boneyard Parlay. <laughs> Alright, so we need to draw a land. We need Risen Reef to hit a land. There we go. And then after Risen Reef hits a land here, we need Cavalier of Thorns. There we go. All right, now Cavalier of Thorns. I mean, I guess we could also just draw a land and then we get Moldratha into play next turn. That would work too. So I need land or Cavalier of Thorns. All these Firebrands killing my poor Risen Reefs. Wow, I really called it. I called draw a land, hit a land off Risen Reef, then draw Cavalier Thorns. We did all of those things. Oh yeah, we're still probably dead. probably dead. We need our opponent to have a lot more lands. How do they have so many of those? Is that the fourth one? Is the third one? Looks like I, got, I grabbed the wrong land. I should have, off the Cavalier Thorns, I should have taken the Drowned Catacomb and put Woodland Cemetery into the graveyard because then I could have gone Woodland Cemetery Llanowar Elf this last turn. So I could have a Llanowar Elf. That's boring. Okay, so mono red. It's probably tough. I mean, I, I guess I don't get to boneyard parlay against mono red. That's sad. That's really sad. I think the main question is whether or not I want. No, I don't. Like, do I want Tamio? Do I want? Maybe I don't want Tamio. Whoops! I want this card. Let's go with this. Kind of feel like I should play Tamio. Yeah, Duress isn't bad either. Dress and Tamiya are both not bad, but I don't really have things I wanted to cut from here. I want to really keep my creature count high. Alright, here we go.
This is just like last game, though, where I did have to... You know, I, I shocked turn one, shocked turn two. Last game. Well, Leafkin doesn't die to shock, Landwerf does, so... We're gonna play the Leafkin. This means we don't have to pay two life and that our creature doesn't die to Chain Whirler. Viachino. Always a fun word to say. I'm gonna miss Viachino Pyromancer. The fun card to say. Viachino. <laughs> Day one, you misread it. You you still call it Vlashino? Thought it was an L. Vlashino. <laughs> Definitely attacking with one of these. I want to keep two blockers in case they like kill one and then so they can't just uh, uh, kill me. Aww. There's a cute puppy. I feel like my opponent has Fry. They're just sitting here not doing anything. I feel like they have Fry. So, like, my plan was to play your rock, but now I kind of want to just play Risen Reef Branchwalker. So I should have attacked with the Chupacabra also. Not doing anything. Okay. All right, so we're going to game three. They had a pretty poor hand there. They had like Steamkin and Ferocidon as like their only threats, and so a couple of troops later. Like, is Massacre Girl any good, honestly? Maybe not. Especially on the draw. It's five mana. It's so much mana. Let's play a duress instead. Do I trim Llanowar Elves on the draw? 
They get swept up by Chain Whirler and Firebrand and all that kind of stuff. The same thing with Risen Reef, though. Maybe I take out Risen Reefs on the draw, or just a couple. Taking out one Risen Reef for a Tamiyo. No, can't can't really play Boneyard Parlay against Mono Red on the draw. Yeah, two two years ago for Chupacabra. Yeah, cards in standard cards are in standard for so long. That does seem like two years ago. Or sorry, that does seem like forever ago. Um, with Ravenous Chupacabra. Being previewed in Ixalan. <laughs> All right, Legion's end time. That Steamkin will meet its end. So they're just chilling with a bunch of removal over there. Like, I could play a Leafkin Druid, it dies, and then they keep pinging me, and they, I just keep on getting pinged and pinged by that thing. So I'm going to not get pinged over and over, and instead take out their creature. It's not like Legion. It's not like I want to save Legion Zen for like uh, Rampaging for Ostan or Chain Whirler anyway. Frenzy, Frenzy. Well, let's get Yurok out here, because they are really incentivized to play Frenzy. So if they want to kill Yurok, they don't get to play Frenzy. All right, they're going Frenzy. Let's get a whole bunch of Risen Reef triggers. Where's our lands? Wow. We would have, like, missed if I would have played Cavalier Thorns. Green common land that makes a food token if you have three forests. Uh, it seems like it's probably going to be worth playing if you care about food tokens. Um, so I kind of want to I kind of want to duress and trophy this frenzy. Obviously we could use more lands. Let's start with the Leafkin, which is almost free because of the other Leafkin. Good. So two, three, four, five. We'll keep a black open. All right, so we didn't we didn't get another black source. I can't duress and trophy, so I didn't pay two life. So 
we'll just have trophy for whatever they play. I feel like I should kill this frenzy. You get six cards though. That's probably fine. Nah, I'll just I'll just say my turn. Oh yeah, Yurok got exiled. Whoops. Should have played my own Yurok from the graveyard. Or I should have just played my Yurok from hand. Well, it's too late for that now. I think we're fine. We can't really play another Cavalier. I'm at 16 cards in library. I have to be worried about milling out. Yeah, it turns out when you have like infinite mana, you get to do some crazy stuff with Risen Reef. All right, good little turn there for our opponent. There. Definitely dead. Alright, we'll see if we get to Boneyard Parlay this next time. Fortunately, we played against Mono Red, so we had to... We had to tighten it up. Had to cut all... All our 5-7 mana cards in our, from our deck. We had to tighten it up. GG's. Okay. Match number two. Let's draw a land. Come on, deck. You can do it. We're on the draw. I just want one land. Uh, close enough. Then Jade Light finds more lands. Tamiyo Cavalier. Fill the graveyard. And then we get to Parlay. Why are we facing these aggro decks? They're so mean. They're just killing me so fast. I'm trying to cast a seven mana card over here. <laughs> you know? Give me a break. Yeah, losing Hostage Taker, Rekindling Phoenix. Ugh. Give me a break. Still another 2 1? Jeez. I <laughs> can't get a 3 2 Jade Light Ranger? Ugh. <laughs> Blood's my 
my beginning. Well, best possible card. Our fates thirst for life. Just taking lethal here. They have lethal on board. They just attack with both, and then whichever one deals, you know, whichever one stays alive, then you sacrifice two, three. We have your rock for life gain. If only our Jade Light was a 3-2, like that first Jade Light. The second Jade Light would have been nice to be a 3-2 also, but really the first one, that was key. If that first Jade Light was a 3-2, would have been a much different game, but it was it was a 2-1. It was two lands on top. If we just had one spell. Uh, well, unfortunately, I have to cut all these seven mana cards again. Our opponents are jerks. <laughs> Not letting me play some sweet seven seven mana cards. So this is the same thing we did against Mono Red, except for I do want Massacre Girl here. They're much more reliant on creatures. But if I play Massacre Girl, that's two slots, so I have to cut two cards. I can cut a Blood for Bones. I guess I could maybe just cut both Blood for Bones. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. I feel like I can get rid of a two drop with playing all these Legion's ends. I'm gonna get rid of a Branch Walker and keep one Blood for Bones. I know, our opponents definitely hate fun. Why is her mouth a video game controller? Well, that changes everything. Come on, play like three creatures. Uh. To fight with an ancient vampire lord. Foolish. <clears throat> Blood calls to your soul. My opponent plays so well against <laughs> against Massacre Girl. Didn't put out a single creature there.
Yeah, so we only tra we just traded two for two, so it's not like we had that great of a trade there. Joy, Are you kidding seed. me? You could have played either of those last turn. Really? All right, well, last game against Model Red went a lot better than this one has. But, oh well. Our feet thirst for life. Soren's really difficult to, be to beat. I need to draw Assassin's Trophy for the Soren. Uh, or one of my four Legion's Ends for these Vanguards. Or, you know, the 13th land. That'll do. So, you know, we, we brought in six two-mana removal spells. I would love to draw any of those six. Legions and or trophy. Take either one. This is but a taste of my power. I don't want the two-mana spell to be Leafkin Druid. Legion's End. Alright, alright. <clears throat> That's a start. So that was, that was definitely a good turn for me. I get to draw a trophy for Soren and get Noxious Grasp out of their hand. That was a good turn. If you threaten Innistrad, I will take it first. My bloodline. Those you. All right, it's got to be legions and Ugh. gross. All right, Soren still busted. All right, one and one. Let's not play against aggro, please. I want to play my boneyard parlay. Okay. Yeah, there's yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of people playing Mardu Knights on day 1. Absolutely. Yeah, you'll you'll see a lot of Mardu Knights. All right, Hallowed Fountain could definitely be a control deck. Could just be like Azorius Flyers. Or it could be Bant Ramp. All right, perfect time for Risen Reef, Cavalier of Thorns, Agent of Treachery. Not you have Risen Reef, me have Risen Reef. <laughs> Ugh.
Alright. Agent of Treachery. Risen Reef. Cavalier of Thorns. Heck, Jade Light Ranger. Just give me something here. And there's the turn we lost the game. <laughs> All because I said something about the video game controller for a mouth, isn't it? We're just gonna draw poorly. Agent of Treachery. Alright, so we got a Risen Reef. A turn too late, of course. But... Better than drawing another land. Better than drawing another land. I don't have Massacre Girl in the main deck, unfortunately. But this is a great Massacre Girl matchup, so we'll be playing both our Massacre Girls. Get this other Tamio in here. I need some more gas. We're just ramping up into nothing these last few games. So, of course, with Aiden and Treachery, we do have to be worried about... Tristani. A little bit. I think I can play around that pretty well, though. I don't have too much like removal early on. I'm just going to try to just ramp and have all this big stuff. That's the goal. I'm actually a little concerned with this matchup of like winning the game before decking. Honestly. Like, maybe I should take out like a Cavalier of Thorns, maybe. Alright, good hand. We can ha either have Tamio or Choop on turn three. Much better than last time. I still wish there was like a button you could hit somehow and oh that's cool I haven't done that before um and have the the numbers here just stay up always and not have that disappear I think that'd be it'd be nice to have there for 
for y'all watching the stream. I wish I wish I could just have those up all the time. If anybody ever figures out somehow to do that, you let me know. So when I play Tamio Tick Up, I think I'm just naming Risen Reef. So we play Paradise, I don't get to Chupacabra that. So we play Tamio. You would make an excellent. I know I noted this somewhere. Ooh. Grabbed a Yurok as well. Me. I feel like they have like a counter spell or something. Like Ether Gust. Seek and find. Oh, hey, look at that. I drew a card. Isn't that convenient? To the library. Both Masker Girls are in there. Wait, why can't I play Blood for Bones? I won't let me play Blood for Bones. There it goes. I really don't know why I grab Masker Girl for the other land or for the other card. I really don't need Masker Girl since I have Nissa. I should have grabbed like your rock or uh, Risen Reef or something. No, there's no Risen Reef. But I should have grabbed like your rock. Fight on without me. I So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How 
of creatures we got over here? Whoops. Whatever. Just give me this boneyard parlay. I just want to play this boneyard parlay. I follow the tracks of the wise. All right, one, two, three, four, five. That was not the best boneyard parlay I could do. I just want to play it. We could have waited longer and, you know, done more Risen Reef stuff and everything. They have nothing in their graveyard. I'll just take all four of these. Yeah, now we get Muldratha to... Like, Muldratha's going to replay Tamiyo. And, you know, you can have, like, Muldratha grab your rock. <laughs> Opponent, where you going? So I was going to kill the deputy this turn. So I think this was the turn to, like, I think. I think I was going to... I guess I, I didn't, wasn't exactly sure how much mana I had. I think I, I think I had enough to be able to go Moldratha, Yurok, Chupacabra. But maybe I didn't. That's 15. Maybe I didn't have that much. That, was, that would be ideal. Kill their two creatures, they get Nissa back, and then I attack Nissa for lethal. I guess Agent of Treachery really isn't that good if they, you know, with the, the fact that they have Deputy, Tristani. Legion's End is pretty good, though. Whoops, not you. Yeah, they would get Nissa back, and then I, but I would have been able to attack Nissa for lethal. I would have attacked Nissa there. Um, but yeah, if I killed Nissa... Yeah, every... Any time a card enters for, back from exile, it always goes back to the owner. And so... Uh, whoever's card it actually is, they always get the card after it re-enters. A little bit of an awkward hand here with Drowned Catacomb, Temple of Mystery. Alright, less awkward. Or I was going to say I didn't didn't have the ability to, to turn to Risen Reef. Now we do, though. I think I wanted to play Leafkin after Risen Reef. Darn. This is about who's going to get, you know, with these kind of matchups, it's all about who gets more mana, so you really just want Risen Reefs to be hitting lands all the time. I got double Risen Reef. That's... Quite bad for me. Hmm. 
Mm. Wow. This is really bad. We can't find land. Good card to hit. All right, good turn for us. I have exactly five in the graveyard, four creature or three creatures. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I need to hit a, a land, which we have a land in the graveyard. All right, so I could go Moldrotha, Chupacabra, Legion's End next turn. Or just Risen Reef, Le Risen Reef Legion's End. Just start with this thing. I'm definitely doing this. Let's see if we get more crisis. One more crisis. They have a backup Nissa. So if they do not find any disruption for me here, it's possible I get to Agent of Treachery their Nyssa and Ultimate their Nyssa. kind of the plan right now. I'd love to find a Masker Girl, obviously. Mas like... Look at this board. Masker Girl would be insane. Eight, I'm going to five.
two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess I, I should have done this first. I could have taken two things, but no, it's fine. I could have grabbed the Shockland and played Leafkin Druid. Gone down to three and Leafkind. With the rope going so fast, it's, it's you know, the rope going down, it's hard for me to, to really see if that was worth it or not. Because um, if we go down to three, if I have another blocker, I would have eight blockers. Four, five, six, seven. And yeah, they have seven attackers, so I would still have enough blockers. So yeah, I wish I would have grabbed the Overgrown Tomb and Leafkin Druid, but. I didn't really take the time for that, to be honest. It doesn't matter. I just block like this. I kind of want to chump block with both agent of treacheries. I probably should do that. So if I have too much, too many of their stuff, I don't want to draw all these extra cards. Oh wait, I don't have to, I can, I can ultimate this and still have. The land will help us find a way. Nissa's still going to stay out for me. I was thinking the Nissa was going to go away, I need to add mana. All right, Boneyard Parlay, I don't know what you're going to do, to be honest. I'm just going to cast you. You, 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 you. I'm, I'm honestly, I honestly don't really want to grab Risen Reef. I have 23 cards in library. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just always worried about having too many cards in library. All right, we'll see what they want to do here for this Boneyard Parlay. So I can either have Moldratha and Agent of Treachery or these three. Yeah, I'll take Moldratha and Agent of Treachery. Are you kidding me? I get Moldratha? Uh, let, me, let me take this land over here. All right, we need to get rid of some of my Agent of Treacheries now, to be honest.
Um, all right, figure it out. Did I figure it out? I don't know. Maybe not. That gets one off the battlefield. I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. No tail should be discarded. No, I didn't even need to shock that. Okay. Two and one. So that's what our deck can do. That's some crazy stuff. That's some crazy, crazy stuff right there. Boneyard Parlay. <laughs> oh, it's a sweet one. Man, Throwback Thursdays are the best. That's why we had to do Throwback Thursday Wednesday edition. Get to do some really fun stuff. Hey, what's up, Soul Farmer? I wish they gave me a little bit more time for the turns, honestly. Like, you know, we have like a thousand options of what to do with one of those turns there. Yeah, we're doing Throwback Thursday tomorrow as well. Um, we had, we're playing Jeskai Hero again tomorrow. At the donate, donation deck for Jeskai Hero today, tomorrow. Um, but then the other three slots, I'll, I'll be building new decks for those as well. I know I'm going to do an Invocation deck with Sunbird's Invocation and Vivian's Invocation. That one's going to be sweet. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with the other ones. I kind of want to make an Azor the Lawbringer deck. I'll see if I can figure out what to do with Azor. Jobin! Staying on the two-month streak here. Thanks so much for the resub there, Jobin. Our first sweet, clean, beautiful subscriber of the day. Lava Coil. It's unnecessary. That was not necessary. My poor little Risen Reef. Uh, thanks, Jovan. Sorry, I'm late. This might be a bad idea. <clears throat> Did Teferi just say sorry? I'm great. Pretty conceited. Prison Reef is just actually millions of cards. Oh, I shouldn't just actually chew, wait. Legion's End's actually good in this matchup. So they can they can get a bunch of tokens if they have like Sahili. 
or even like the dragon token from Sarkin. So they have like Prison Realm Deafening Clarion, like the best they can have. That's like the best possible. They're still left with one card. And I have millions. <laughs> I don't know how a control deck's supposed to win against this. Honestly, it's, it's not a fair fight. I just want to find my... Um, a Boneyard Parlay. Did I already play a land? I don't think so. Elder 2! Hey, thanks for the resubbing. No, I didn't. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Elder 2. Restraint. No, I am not making this up as I go. So I play Legion's End, it just shuffles Fibblethip back into their library. <clears throat> That's fine. Four, five, six, we seven, eight, nine. So I don't get to play. I don't get to play Temple of Malady to scry first to look for a seven drop. Oh, that's pretty good. Give me that interplanar bacon. I need more bacon over here. Need more bacon on aisle five. Yeah, I saw that, Moxie. I saw that. If you wish to keep an open mind. Nah, where's Boneyard Parlay? When you need it. I probably should not be showing more cards to my opponent like this, but I just want to find Boneyard Parlay. Dang. Still haven't seen it yet. Yay! I have reached my limit. <clears throat> I don't even know what we're gonna parlay. For my excellent time. Trust me, I have a plan. But I'm gonna play it. That's all I know. No, what about it? Uh. Darn. All right, I guess we have Duress, Tamio. We can play trophies. All yeah, might as well play trophies. <clears throat> I feel like they're gonna play like Sarkin, and I'm gonna regret not having a Chupacabra or a Legion's End, or they'll play like. Sahili and make a bunch of annoying to tokens. And I'll want to Legion's End them. They can cut a couple of Leafkin Druids. They're just going to get swept up anyway. I guess Leafkin Druid's an elemental for Risen Reef, though. We'll we'll split the difference. Three and three. Leafkin and Lanawar. Yeah. Yeah, time traveling to Thursday. Today. Maybe there are some viewers that only get to watch on Wednesdays and don't get to watch on Thursdays. and So they get to find out what Throwback Thursdays are like. 
I think we're going to continue this after rotation. You know, after rotation, we won't need Throwback Thursday, of course. But I think what we're going to do then is still do this kind of thing where I take rares and mythics that people don't play and build decks around them. But I think we're going to do it on Tuesdays and call it Tuesday Brews Day. Like a B R W S dash day. Tuesday Brews Day. Yep, that's the plan, Emmanuel. There you go. Tuesday, Bruise Day. Um, Yurok is kind of only good when we have Risen Reef. Yeah, you don't really see Planar Cleansing too much in uh, in a Super Friends deck. Not one I'm really expecting there. They do have trips white, but um, don't have six mana. Oh yeah, haphazard bombardment. Haphazard bombardment is a really good magic card. So they played their Prison Realm before Planar Cleansing? Does that make sense to anybody else? Is that just me? Am I the only one that doesn't think that makes any sense? Dueling you will be excellent research. Oh, what happened to my Jade Light? Huh. Well, I guess I could have auto tapped that better. Yeah, Jade like got lava coiled. I Let's forgot about that. Well, that's not good. Tamio is definitely much better to minus than plus. I guess I could have still just grabbed Duress. Wait, so we're playing that also before Planar Cleansing? And before Deafening you. Clarion? Does that make sense? They now have like two dead cards in their hand. <laughs> And of course, I'm not going to use. Wow, they just let me do that. <laughs> they didn't just draw. I guess they didn't want to draw two. 
All right, well, that's a little bit of a bummer. That's pretty good. All right, we'll take one of these white sources that they have. So we only have two white sources now. For planar cleansing. Because it's best case scenario. They like wipe the board and, and I get my Tamiyo back. It does seem kind of weird to have a whole bunch of permanent based removal effects and then have planar cleansing. Does feel odd. The focus, and I have just the trick for this. Yeah, I could have waited a turn with Agent and Treachery. That's that's for sure. Boneyard parlay for the win. Look how sweet Boneyard Parlay is! Wow, this card is cool. So yeah, two Risen Reefs, a Cavalier of Thorns, a Yurok, and an Agent of Treachery. They have to split it up into two piles. <laughs> yeah, I'll take Yurok, Agent of Treachery, and Cavalier of Thorns. Um, I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna take this. <laughs> uh, boneyard parlay. <laughs> We're three and one. Uh, three and one. Hey Android, you thought oh you thought it went to my hand? Yeah, it go, yeah, it just goes to the battlefield. <laughs> GG's there. GG's. Boneyard parlay. Yee. Yeah. Eh, could work. Maybe a little bit of a slower deck. We got dubs, choops. Get the double choop. Get a choop for one. Yeah, it's, it's worth seven mana when you have cards like Agent of Treachery. Got another pyromancer. That bug is just too scary. He's in there all alone. Alright, Jade Light's perfect here. 
can trade with like a burn spell or a firebrand and also help us hit the land drop. That's just like a perfect card to draw. We should be able to hit land drops now. There we go. We've been doing really good getting the two for one jade light. We've had a whole lot of two two one jade lights in this league. I'm playing the traditional constructed league where you pay a thousand gold and win prizes based on if you can get to however many wins you can get to before two losses. Block. You ain't getting no damage on me over here. All right, time to fill the graveyard up. Every story is an opportunity for new data. We're gonna say uh, you're you right. Find my notes helpful. I'll be surprised if we don't win this game. I'll have to say. <laughs> I had I had an opponent once hit hit all four with Tamio. That's because they only had four cards. Or I think I've done the yeah I've done the all four. I've done the just have the four nexuses as the last four cards and name nexus and you draw them all four. So yeah I've done that too. And I've had an opponent do that. The unluckiest is I saw a a like a turn three Tamio, you know, like a turn two mana creature, turn three Tamio, and they ticked up and named Risen Reef, and they drew three Risen Reefs. That was like my least favorite one. Oh, Boneyard Parlay. All right, so next turn I can minus and grab this parlay. What do we got? Two Risen Reef, two Jade Light, and a Branch Walker. All right, we need to draw land. We, you know, we got the six land. We need to draw land, and then cast Boneyard Parlay next turn. Ugh, he had a Tamio hit two Command the Dread Hordes against you during the war of the Spark metagame. Sweet. This is just awesome for me. Give me a land. All right, here we go. Boneyard parlay time. Unfortunately, we do have to... Uh, um, did have to exile the Cavalier Thorns to get this parlay back to like make sure we get to parlay. I don't want your cards, I want my cards. I want Risen Reef, Risen Reef, Jade Light, Branch Walker, Jade Light. It's like Command the Dread Horde, but you don't take any damage. I wish I had a cool animation, though. Disappointed it doesn't have a cool animation. Like, they didn't spend time on getting a good animation for Boneyard Parlay. All right, so I can either have the Risen Reefs or have the three Explore Creatures. I'll take the Risen Reefs. A little surprised they didn't split up the Risen Reefs, to be honest. Ooh, another Boneyard Parlay. Um, let's ditch... Doesn't really matter. 
I'll just put another branch walker in there. Because I was thinking about, you know, like, I kind of want to ditch something good because I wanted to cast another parlay. Ooh. High definition now. Let's go back down to 1080. I don't want the stream to lag. All right, mono red. So that was cool. We got to do that stuff against mono red, but their hand was really bad. We're going to do the same sideboarding we did against mono red earlier. Maybe get these duresses in here on the draw, this Tamio, these trophies, get the Tamio back out. Take out a blood for bones. And I think I took out a land war elf on the draw because a chain whirler. <laughs> I I do I could really use a, a supercomputer for the stream. Yeah, be be able to be in high def. That'd be nice. What's up, Frisky Biscuits? I imagine it costs more than five dollars. But you never know. I know, I, I liked playing on high def also. Before I did the YouTube channel, like before I would uh, be recording for YouTube, I used to play um, with it just in that 1440 there. But with, as far as like recording, like so like the, the computer also doing like the recording and everything, that takes up a lot of processing power and I don't get to with recording them, I don't get to um, play it in 1440. Lags too much. That's true. Maybe if everybody pitches in five dollars, we get a real nice computer. I could do that. I could do a supercomputer fund. Down to 10. I didn't want to shock last turn, but just seeing this Chandra, it's just you know certainly worth it to pay the two life that last turn to get that Chandra out of their hand. Don't kill your rock, don't kill your rock. Hooray! Cannot kill your rock. They, they do get to just chump lock and then do one damage to me a couple of times. We can hit a couple of green sources here. I guess I'd. Yeah. Uh, so I have to shock to play Jade Light Ranger? It's not worth it. Not while we're at effectively at five. So this is basically just. Removal for a firebrand. Ooh. Okay. Well, I'm happy for that. I'm happy to gain that three life.
Huh. Let's see if they sacrifice a firebrand to kill the Jade Light Ranger before the explore triggers. Just no. Alright, we'll take a 6-5. <laughs> All right, four and one. Here we go. Final boss. Final boss time. Let's get the final boss playlist. Our parlay card is Boneyard Parlay. It's a seven mana sorcery. So I did sideboard it out against Mono Red there. But we played it game one against Mono Red. That's our That's our card there. Ooh, love it, Far Child. Final boss. Okay. So, Rex, can you... Is, like, streaming in 1440 a thing? Is that a thing? Or is it just always 1080? Is that, like, the... Is 1080 the best? I'm doing very good, Gustavo. How are you doing? There is no animation for Boneyard Parlay. It's sad. I definitely wanted a really cool animation. It's not there. All right, good news, we got rid of those two. Bad news, there's double war boss. I don't have land. Find your own land. Wow. Those are two really good draws, Knight of the Ebon Legion and Legion War Boss. I'm playing against so many aggro decks. I only played against like, I guess, two non aggro decks. I cut all these seven mana cards. Sorry, Boneyard Parlay. We had some fun. Miggy Moo! Getting that Twitch Primer in there. Thanks so much there, Miggy Moo. I appreciate that. I gotta cut one more card. I'm not sure what I want to cut. 
It's our third sub of the day. I guess with bringing in these other fives with Masker Girls, I'll cut a Cavalier of Thorns. All right, here we go. So much for cutting that Cavalier of Thorns. Yeah, I wish we would have gone with uh, getting rid of a mana creature. We can have turn three Moldratha if we draw it. Lame. All right, yeah, definitely should have cut mana creature if they're you know they're playing Legion's End. On deck. Okay, not bad, not bad. Clear this up. They still have five cards over there, though, so it's not like... I mean, we just traded... Like, they, they've spent three cards, and we've spent four cards between the two uh, Leafkins and two Land Worlds, so we've traded down so far. Chandra, you need more control. Fire spreads fast. With help. Okay. They just got a bunch of lands over there. I thought this was a sparring match. This is where we draw your rock. No. Oh no, that is not good. Oh, that is not good. These little guys are great. Ugh. Yep. We're in top deck war, and looks like they're winning at drawing Bedeviled and Butcher. Don't worry, I brought company. At least that's a good land to hit. Draw a land. You just drew two spells in a row. Now you can draw a land. I said Bedevil Butcher. Go get him, buddies. Could be a land. All right, Risen Reef hit another Risen Reef. Blech. Are you at your rock? Oh, they're so cute. There's four spells in a row over there. That Bedevil in particular was just such a killer. Like they probably have less than four cards in their like I imagine they have less than four cards in their deck that kill a massacre girl. And that they just ripped one right away there. So that our Masker Girl couldn't 
finish off the Chandra. That really hurt. All right, Reef into Yurok. All right, into Leafkin. Into another Reef. Okay, into Cavalier. Don't worry, I brought company. They never brick? Can't hit anything. So I went with that block. I think that would give me 10 mana the next turn, and I'd be able to play the Cavalier and then Yurok. It's like if we drew Yurok, I was going to be able to play both of them. But we didn't. I, I thought we had that. I really did. Um, you know, them having nothing, us having Masker Girl, but that top deck Bedevil was such a killer. Oh well. Four and two, good record for Soul Tie Parlay, especially since we we played against four um, aggro decks there. Uh, two mono red, a Rakdos, and a Vampires. So we played against four decks where. Um, where I just had to sideboard out Boneyard Parlay and Agent of Treacheries, you know, so our five, seven mana cards <laughs> were not good in uh, four of our matchups, yet we still won four of the matchups, so not bad, not too bad at all. The, the two that were not, um, you know, real fast aggro felt like pretty good matchups, especially the control deck. That one felt really good, but... But there we go. We got to use some Boneyard Parlays. Got to cross that one off the old bucket list there. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. If you like these Throwback Thursday decks also, make sure you check out the playlist with all of the Throwback Thursday decks. Yui, thank you so much. Twitch Prime sub there. Appreciate that. We've played so many sweet decks built around cards. And of course, like I said, that we're about to have in a little bit, we're going to have Golden Guardian and Journey to Eternity as two other ones for today. But that's it here for Soul Type Parlay. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.